Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'll show you one more exciting tutorial, Maya Dynamic Process. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so now you're in Maya, which is 2016 version. Now I have to select some polygons. From here you can see create polygon basic primitives. But before this you have to on this interactive creation. So now when you click this, select and you can use it like this. It's now good. Now zoom it slightly. Select the sorry. Sorry. It's like this. It's fine. Now press W on keyboard, select this go to the storage option from here you can choose your radius option but before this you have to select this division from 20 to 6 and now radius like 1 it's fine now take this vertex option zoom it back select all this and drag it like this it's fine now go to this object mode select this Control D on keyboard for duplicate and it's like this then press E on rotation and here from 90 now it's looking like this now you have to do the same thing just select all this shift D on keyboard press W and just do it like this and then you have to select uh, press this option multiple times like 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times and one more is like 7 times so now it's good now select all this and what you have to do I have to rotate all this like in top so now what I have to do just press ctrl G on keyboard now it's all grouped together now press E on keyboard and go to this Z direction and press 90 oh, sorry minus 90 now it's feel like up it's looking now fine now what I have to do press W it's like this sorry like and it's like you have to move it slightly up now press ctrl D and you have to duplicate it like this now when you can you can see these tools are really big so you can scale it down but when you scale it down you can see this all are scaling together so that's why this is very bad thing here okay now what you have to do I have to make a table over there so go to this top view and uh, come here and you can make a box like this slightly and like this so it's fine you can see this box is coming fine now you have to increase this depth of this box just go to this depth like from here it's like 50 no 50 is not like 45 it's good height is like one okay five no three three is good now select this and slightly go up 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 and it's fine now it's exactly in the right position okay so now when it's done what I have to do I have to just increase this slightly so just press E R and just increase it like this now it's really looking nice now deselect all this press F to fit the screen now what I have to do select this one and this one and this one shift and then you have to combine this now select all this together and press ctrl G on keyboard now all this are now in grouped now what I have to do press D and V on keyboard to snap and you have to go to this one to this top now all these vertices are now aligned on this one now press E on keyboard and you have to rotate it like this okay now the main modeling part is completed what you have to do you have to add some dynamics 
inside of this area now select this this all this don't select a group because dynamics will not work in group select all this and then you have to go from here to effects now you can see there is no options it's called like bullet so what you have to do you have to go this window and you have to go to this plugin manager just make it bigger and you have to find but it's taking so much time that's why I'm pressing this load all or load and just load all because I don't know where it is I have to find that bullet option so now whenever I'm starting this it will automatically load just press refresh one then close now you can see you have your bullet options over there now go to this bullet and you have to take all this to active rigid body but don't click here you have to click this option box option box now when you click this option box you can see this option says here first of all go edit and reset by default now go to this box and you have to select the auto compound mode and make sure this auto compound mode should on because all the shapes are different different now press apply and close it will take some time whatever you are doing it will really take some time so just pay, keep patience and when it, it will complete I'll get back to you okay so now all this happening is done now when you play this before play just make this frame range like 700 and now the frame range is 700 now when you play you can see this is going really down when you just play this here see this is going down now go to this first frame select this one and this one this one and this one and come here to this option and select this mass from 1 to 0 now when you play this you can see it's coming like this but see it's feel like it's very like light weighted so that's why it's jumping like this see so now what you have to do you have to make some weights over there so now select this one and add a mass over there so just press this one and add some mass like 6 now when you play this you can see it's going down and it's feel little like it's heavier than the last time when I play this okay now I have to give some more details here go to this one this one and I have to go this mass and press this like 10 then what I have to do go to window and outliner and select this bullet solver and what you have to do you have to make this gravity is like minus like uh, 80 is good now when you press this you can see it's wow now it's feel like it's really heavy see now what you have to do you have to change this 60 gigahertz to 240 for better render output now when you play this you can see the it's feel like it's really happening here now you can see this area still now feel like it's not heavier so increase this mass like 50 go to this first frame and you play now see it's right now looking really nice now we have to do some more things which is like I have to add some smoothness over there so like select all this and press 3 on keyboard and you can see this is like C is like it's uh, what you can see it's really good now select this one press 1 on keyboard go to this in front of this and I have to add some multi cuts over there press shift on keyboard and it's insert multi cut edge select this one this one this one and this sorry and this one and here as well so now all is fine come here it's good now it's done press 3 on keyboard now it's see it's not blending now press F now it's good now press this play button you can see this is really happening good you can add so much gravities over there but make sure when you uh, will play this thing you have to make that everything is looking nice so just change some colors over there select this one go to here to object mode select object mode now select this one go to this attribute editor and you have to select so many things are here this Lambert and the colors like white transparency is good diffuse is fine special effects is no, everything is fine so now it's done now play this
you can see this is really happening well so this is for it today hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and i will upload so many maya tutorials in future which will based on this kind of dynamics and modeling techniques and if you have any query please let me know and don't forget to press that subscribe button and please press that bell icon for the further notifications so see you bye bye i will see you in my next tutorial